The Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders are coming off a bye week. Joining us right now to get us set for the rest of the season for his team is the head coach Rick Stockstill joining us on Campus Insiders. Hey Rick, it's Michael Kim. How are you today? I'm great, Michael. Thank you for having me on. Absolutely. Uh, man, I don't know about your AD. I don't know how much you had a say in the schedule, but two of your first three games were against SEC opponents Vanderbilt and Georgia. What did you learn from those games? Well, you're right. I didn't have any say so <laughs> in those games and scheduling those games. But, you know, um, played two really good teams. Uh, Vanderbilt, you know, who took North Notre Dame to the wire, you know, a couple of weeks ago. And then Georgia, you know, is number two in the country right now. So we played two really good teams. Um, you know, it's hard to tell. Uh, I think what I learned the most about our team is just, you know, how competitive we are that, you know, we're going to go out there and we're going to play as hard as we can. We were physically overmatched uh, at Georgia. They were just too big and too fast uh, for us. And it was it was tough sledding that week. So uh, but our guys, uh, you know, played really hard. They competed, uh, did the best they could. Obviously, it wasn't good enough. Uh, we made some mistakes that we have to get corrected moving forward. But we also did some good things. Uh, that we can build on. So, um, you know, looking forward now to getting into conference play for a few weeks before we play our last non-conference game later in the year. Rick, you played quarterback at Florida State for Bobby Bowden. You also coached under the likes of Danny Ford and Lou Holtz and Steve Spurrier, all men who won national championships. What did you learn from them that maybe you can share with your team now moving forward? Well, you know, I, I've said it all the time that other than my father, Coach Bowden has been the biggest male influence uh, in my life. And uh, I feel like everybody I've coached under or coached for that I've learned something uh, from them. But I try to coach uh, my personality. I try to coach more like Coach Bowden than anybody. Uh, I lean on the lessons that he taught us as a player uh, immensely. Uh, but, you know, I, you learn from everybody that you work for, and every team is different. Uh, this team that I've got right now, we're different than the team we played against Georgia. We're different than the opening week because of the injuries that we've suffered. So uh, every team is different, and you just try to take all the different learning experiences that you've had throughout your career and try to use those to impact your team in any way possible. One of the challenges facing your team right now is this injury bug that seems to be going through your locker room. Uh, what can you tell us about some of the key players being affected by some of the bang-ups and the injuries? Yeah, it's not good. Obviously, it's been been very unfortunate. We, you know, we lost two more guys in the Georgia game for the year. One broke a collarbone and one, you know, tore his Achilles. So, uh, you know, we'll lose those guys for the year, but. Uh, you know, I, I don't think we're going to get anybody back. Uh, you know, we had an open date this past week. I don't think we're getting anybody back that didn't play uh, against Georgia. So we're still probably a couple, three weeks out from getting some guys back. So, uh, you know, that's the that's the tough part of playing those, you know, SEC schools. They, you know, you just get beat up physically because they've got so much more depth, uh, you know, and, and most likely – uh, most times they've got more size uh, and they're just so much bigger physically than you are that it, wear, it takes a wear and tear on your body. So it's been unfortunate these first couple of weeks that we've lost so many good players from our team. So for the guys who can go, you have a big matchup against FAU this weekend. What's the key, what's the focus for your practices this week leading up to the game? Well, it's a great opportunity for us. You know, uh, those first three games were – you know, basically in the big scheme of things, they were preseason games. And, um, you know, now we're getting into conference play and and uh, as balanced and as competitive as this league is, especially on the East, um, you know, every game is critical. And this game, this is our first game, uh, conference game for us and as well for FAU. So uh, it would be great to get off on a good start. And uh, but just talking about the opportunity and we had, you know, you're playing the defending conference champion. Uh, they've got a really good football team coming back. They've got a lot of good players, uh, really, really fast team. 
athletic team, and uh, we've got a good team. So uh, we got a great challenge coming in here, but it's a great opportunity uh, to get started on a good on a good note here as we start conference play. All right, Rick Stockstill joining us here on Campus Insiders. Thank you so much, Rick, and good luck the rest of the way for your Blue Raiders. Appreciate you, my man. Thanks for having me on, bud.